So uh, we're working a lot in this area from the kind of navel downwards to help us just to release. So this is a good practice for digestion as well. Um, and we're, we're using that energy of apana, that releasing downwards um, of all the junk that has sort of kind of been put on us. And so we're going to start off just in a seat. Um, Siddhasana, one shin in front of the other, or Sukhasana with supports under your thighs, whatever you need. And just get a comfortable seat. I would suggest something under your bum and pull the flesh out behind you there so that you can feel your sit bones on there and you feel your low back is supported nicely. Okay. And then just Nice and tall in the spine, lift the heart and gather the shoulder blades onto the back. Okay, good. And then just looking in softly into the middle distance or closing your eyes. Um, you can take um, the Apana Mudra, do you remember that one? It's the tip of the thumb to the tip of the middle finger and the tip of the fourth finger. Yeah, okay, you can take that on both sides. That's Stimulating the energy of digestion, of release in the body. So just resting those hands on your thighs and begin by focus, focusing in on the breath. In and out through your nose. Take a few rounds to get into a really relaxed rhythm of breathing and see if you can just lengthen out that breath and pause at the top and pause at the bottom. Let your face soften, let your shoulders just relax. Notice if you began to round forward again and just counter that by taking the shoulders back. And notice if your head started to drop forward, bring the sides of your neck back and support your head. No strain on the back of the neck. And then notice if you have any tension in the belly and see if you can allow the breath to work through that for you. So big inhale, swell around the belly. Exhale, draw the navel in. And then feeling your seat beneath you. And then beneath that again, being aware of the earth beneath you and allow yourself just to ground downwards into the earth with a big exhale. And let's take three half breaths, nice long exhales with those. So big breath in through the nose and out through an open mouth. And again, in through the nose and out through the mouth. Last one, in through the nose. And as you exhale through the mouth, see if you can pull your navel in towards your spine. Good, and then come back to your ujjayi breath. And bring your awareness down into the pit of your belly. And if you will just sense or imagine the breath rising up from the base of the spine all the way up to the navel. Traveling up the spine and then from the navel exhaling back down towards the base of the spine. Even around the perineum area. So big breath in. Visualizing the breath, perhaps like a thread, a silver thread, climbing up towards the navel via the spine. 
and exhaling back down the spine and out through your seat. And just keep going in that manner. Your breath should be audible to you. So with that slight constriction in the back of the throat there. And just saying to yourself mentally, as you exhale, I release. Exhaling, I release. And imagining everything that you've been, you've been holding on to, all of that junk that we've been collecting this last few weeks in particular. It's been weighing us down. Just allow that to release. Let's just get take three more rounds like this. And then you can release the mudra, give your hand a little wiggle, and opening your eyes. And just notice that you feel a little bit more grounded, a little bit more settled already. So let's just keep working with that. We're going to take circles with the torso, doesn't matter what direction. And just see if you can bring the chest out in front, out to the side, and around the back. Perhaps even rounding the back a little as you move in towards the back body. And really slow this down and move with the breath. So inhaling as you come around into the front and as you exhale to the back. Okay, inhaling to the front and exhaling to the back. Noticing how that feels, perhaps in the low back, a little bit of unwinding and you can make those circles as big or as little as you like take three more And last one. Good. Take it back into center. We're just going to rotate in the opposite direction. Breathing in as you move to the front. Breathing out as you move towards the back. Let's go with three more. Last one. And then bring it back into the center. Okay, hold it here and just notice how that feels. Notice how the mind is already beginning to settle a little bit, I hope. And then our next move is into butterfly pose. So I hope you have some sort of props. You can just make it up as you go. Um, we're going to take butterfly pose and possibly putting the blocks underneath your thighs, there are soles of the feet together. Okay? And you can take those blocks onto whatever height feels good for you. All right. And then just take the hands onto the feet and gently fold forward. 
Feel free to round a little bit here. This is a really relaxed version of the pose. So just allowing the gaze drop down and inwards. And stay with that breath, that ujjayi breath, allowing yourself to soften down. Let the legs be heavy. You may become aware of tension being held in the body at any point here. And let's just address that. Notice where the tension is. Really sense into how it's presenting itself. Perhaps as a, a niggly pain or something more distant, nagging, a dragging sensation or just stiffness, stickiness. Notice if it refers anywhere else. Notice if it feels very red and raw or just a dull ache. And then just allow it to begin to melt like a block of ice. Melting into water very, very gradually. And then using the breath to allow that water gradually turn into steam and dissipate fully. Softening and releasing down. Notice any tension around the jaw area and see if you can soften there. You may feel like you can open the legs a little bit wider now as you release further still. We'll just take five more rounds of breath here. Last two. And one, and then inhale and come up slowly. Ha, ah, you can feel the unwind happening. So from here, you can extend the right leg out, okay, and keep the left leg bent. And you can pop a block onto that bent leg if you like. And as usual, for those of you who have any hamstring tightness, go ahead and pop something under the extended leg. And I know you don't all have bolsters, but there's plenty you can do with some firm pillows at home. Okay. So grab your pillow as well. I hope you've got everything to hand there. Um, we're going to just take a fold. So the options are if folding for, far forward is a, is a problem, the option is to just hug it around the front of the bolster and press your head against the bolster. Otherwise, let's take it down a little bit further. You can take the hands and stack them and rest the head down. So there's loads of options there. See what works with your body today.
Put my timer on. And when you find a, a place that you can stay in for a few minutes, just allow yourself to soften and reconnect with the breath. Exhaling, I release. And gradually you'll begin to feel your musculature begin to soften. Allow that to happen. Try not to grip, but just release down. Got another minute here. I know that sounds like a long time, but it's really not. Mm -hmm. One more breath. And then inhaling, come back up nice and slow. Up your bolster or pillow to the side. And then lift that bent left leg up and rest the foot on the floor. Okay. And from here, we're going to take a little twist. So you've got two options. The easier modification here is take your left hand behind you pop possibly onto a block if you're sitting higher up and just hook your elbow in in front of the shin there okay and turn towards the back alternatively you can take right arm across the body to the outside of that left thigh and turn towards the left lift up into the spine reach out through the crown of the head turning around towards the back of the room and feel the left side of the belly just gently pulling back around and use the back of the arm against the leg to gently draw you deeper into the twist only if that feels good in your body. Just take three more rounds of breath here. And then exhale, just gently turning back around to face front. Well done. Okay, just give it a little shake out. 
gentle rub of the thighs. Okay, we'll get, get it start, started on the second side. So just uh, leave the left leg extended and bend the right. Maybe taking support underneath. And then you can take a fold with the bolster or the pillow. Okay. And settle into the fold. It's going to be a four minute fold. It's really not that long. <laughs> hmm. And if you come down a little lower, or if you're quite open in your joints, please don't sit in the joints. I think it's a really good idea if you are more flexible to protect those joints and not just be sitting in them. So use something like a folded blanket or a block underneath the knee joint there, because that's gonna get, a, you know, there's a lot of weight going in there as you're folding forward for such a long period of time. I just don't want you to put the joint under any strain at all, okay? And this is also a practice that invites you not to go to the, your edge. You're invited to come back from your edge a little bit too. Come back to the breath once more. And just noticing your thoughts as they pass on through, noticing the sensations that arise. And then just letting them go, coming gently back to your breath. You're halfway through already. I release. Five more rounds of breath. That last one, and just gently bringing yourself back up to a seat, okay? And then we're going to take our little twist again, so bending the right leg this time, and you can take your right hand behind you as a support, taking the less deep, intense twist with the arm, the, the elbow tucked in across the shin, or going a little bit more deeply here, back of the left arm against the outer right thigh. And inhale, and as you exhale, twist around towards the back of the room.
Two more breaths. And then exhale, twisting back around towards the front. Okay, so just bend both legs, take your feet wide apart, and you can take a little windscreen wiper. And from here, we're going to come up and do our dragon pose. We're going to do a low flying dragon, and then we're going to move into a twisted dragon. I'm going to aim for Four minutes, okay? If you need to come out of it at any point, please do, okay? Let's take a support there and I'll get set up before I set the timer. Use your bolster, okay? And come onto your knees and just pop the bolster with ways there. And you're gonna step your right foot forward, okay? And just let the hips to sink. Hips sink and take your arms, two arms on the inside of that right leg. Let the hips sink down like that, and then just push that pillow or bolster in against your knee there for support. And you'll find that resting on the, the top of your knee, and that will take a lot of pressure off the kneecap. And then two hands on the floor. And if the floor still feels too far away, go ahead and pop your hands onto a block to bring you up. Or if you want to come down lower for a little while, you can take your elbows onto the block. And then it's really quite nice to take your front foot out at a diagonal and just lean the leg away. Gives you a little bit more room. And then come back to your breath. Every exhale, releasing downwards, down into the earth. And moving so deeply into the hips, as you all know, is really a great way to help release pent up emotion and tension in the body. And if you feel frustration beginning to emerge, I would suggest taking some more of those <sighs> breaths, lion breaths. And feel free to stick your tongue out when you're doing them. It's a really great way to release toxins in the body. So inhale through the nose and then out. <sighs> and again. And again. Good. You can do as many of those as you like, but try not to hyperventilate or make yourself lightheaded. <laughs> Just a little health warning. Okay, good. So that is two minutes in low flying dragon. Let's take another two minutes in high flying dragon with a twist. So come on up a little bit, toe heel that front foot into the midline, okay? And then climb up, up onto your front thigh and let the hips sink again. All right, and then from here, take the left arm across the body and you can take your um, Apana Mudra again here tip of the thumb to the index finger and the ring finger, and the other two fingers are extended. Take your right hand onto your right hip and take the twist. Be looking either down towards the floor or over the right shoulder. Let the hips sink down. If you need to take that left hand to the floor or to a block to support you on the inside of that front leg, go ahead and do that and come out at any point.
I release. Just another three breaths here. And then exhale and gently release back out of that. Oh, take your two knees together and sit back on your heels. <laughs> oh, good work. Take a couple of breaths here. And then we are going to prep ourselves for the second side. Let's do it. Okay, come on up. Take the left foot forward and sink the hips. Maybe taking a block, maybe not. And maybe taking that left foot out of the diagonal so that you can take the leg out to the side a little bit more and create some more room for yourself. Okay, here we go. Come on down. Now I really use my Ujjayi breath here. It helps me really stay focused on my intention to stay here for whatever amount of time, two minutes in this case. If you're noticing you're dumping into your shoulders a little bit there, just take your shoulder blades back onto your back and create a little bit more space at the base of the neck. Take your shoulders down from your ears and that will bring the weight back into your core a little bit more so that you're not dumping into the shoulders or the elbows or the wrists. And just let your face and your jaw be soft. You've got three more slow rounds of breath here. And last one. And an exhale, just come on up, toe heel, that left foot into the middle there, okay? And then climb up onto that thigh, all right? And then from here, let's take that twist, taking a Pana Mudra if you like. So tip of the thumb to the index or to the middle and the ring finger there. Bring the Arm across the body, left hand onto the left hip and sink the hips down, maybe turning the head. If you've got a sore neck at all, go ahead and look forward or down. Yeah? And let the hips sink. One minute left. And we imagine breathing out through your feet.
Good, just five more rounds of breath. Last one. And five, let it out. Just gently untwist, release that, come on back. Oh yes. Big hip flexor opening. Just give your thighs a little rub, give your hip flexors a little rub. It's okay. <laughs> okay, so from here, we're actually going to come down onto our bellies, but I want you to keep your pillow handy for the next few minutes where it's going to come in handy again. Um, come up, down onto your elbows. Take your feet just a couple of inches apart and just press the toenails into the floor there. And then take your forearms shoulder distance apart with your elbows beneath your shoulders. Palms of the hands face down. And then from here, take your tailbone, just gently move it down towards the heels a little bit there. And then keeping that, lift the heart through the shoulders, gathering the shoulder blades onto the back. Good. So you've got the tone in the belly there. That's just allowing you to feel that lovely pull and all the way down the midline of the body. And just keep drawing that heart forward, gathering the shoulder blades onto the back. So you shouldn't really feel any discomfort in your low back. But if you are, just keep moving the tailbone down towards the back, toning the belly at the front. We'll just take three more rounds of breath here. And that's one. Last one. And then exhaling, you're going to come down, right down onto your stacked arms and we're going to come into a reclined tree pose. Now, before you get too comfortable, there's an option there for taking a folded blanket across your belly, okay? Just as a, an aid to digestion. So what I'm gonna do is, and you all know the, um, the issues with lacing anything around your soft belly area here. If you have had abdominal, abdominal surgery in the last six months, or if there's any particular reason why you shouldn't be placing pressure on your belly, um, uh, or if, even if you've got glaucoma or anything like that, or, or high blood pressure, then just omit this a little bit, okay? Um, so I'm gonna take the blanket very, very soft, and fold it as thickly as I like the amount of pressure. And I'm going to press the, blanket there in between my two frontal hip points there, so underneath my navel, and then come and lie down with that underneath my belly. Okay. And then I'm going to take my right knee out to the side as if I was making tree pose, okay? And then lie on my stacked arms. And you should feel a, a gentle pressure there in your low belly. Okay, it should feel quite nice, like a massage in your belly. You may feel a few little trigger points making themselves known, maybe like spiky head shots. 
for want of a better explanation, and they should go. Um, if you're putting too much pressure on your belly, or if you become aware of, um, of a pulse or anything like that, please move the, um, the, the blanket or whatever you have on your belly just down or to the side a little bit just to release that. Okay. Allow your legs get nice and heavy. And let your shoulders do the same. And once again, the breath that we were doing at the beginning of the practice, imagining the breath uh, directing energy from the base of the spine up to the navel or you know behind the navel along the spine, that area there. You can come back to that. And as you exhale, see the energy travel back down the spine and out through the base of the spine there. Just allow your belly to soften around the blanket. And just your last two breaths here, and then you can change to the second side. Exhaling, just take that right leg down on the floor, and then easily bending the left leg out to the side this time. If you have your head turned to one side, please turn it to the other at this point.
Just take three more rounds of breath here before you nod off. <laughs> Okay, and then we're going to come back into child's pose, but I want you to keep the blanket across your belly. So for those of you who need some support that you, if you can't get the sit bones down to your heels, pop your pillow behind you, okay? So pop your pillow across your calves, take your knees wide and your heels closer together so you can you have that. And then if you had this before, keep it there. And you're going to take that fold. And because you're maybe a little bit higher up, you may need something under your head as well, just to bring the front of your body up as well. Okay. So take a few moments to find an adjustment. You can ask me if you're not sure. Feel free to, to do that. I can, I can give you a hand. Time we're on. If this feels like too much pressure on your belly, go ahead and take it out. Just five more rounds of breath here, please. Okay, and then just slowly come on up. <sighs> and if you had something there across your belly, just give yourself a moment to let the blood flow back and just feel that, that sense of flushing through that you get um, with something like that, that slight compression around the belly area. Okay. <sighs> All right, so from here, we're going to take a, a seated thread needle, okay? So I like to use my meditation cushion. And if any of you are um, looking to get some props for practicing at home, do get on to me and I'll let you know where it's good to get um, bits and bobs, okay? Um, places that I would use and uh, I could recommend to you if you're not sure, okay? So from here, you're going to come and sit up on your folded blanket 
or whatever you're sitting on, and cross your right ankle above your left knee, okay? And you can have that left leg extended out as much or as little as you like, okay? But I'd like you to get a, an opening here in the outer hip area, okay? So just allow that right knee drop away from you. Okay, so you should feel that the further you drop that right knee away and keep a little bit of action in that right foot just to keep the knee nice and safe. And if you want to take that left knee embedded in a little bit further towards you, go ahead and do that. And then just support yourself behind you with your hands, then keep your heart lifted, trying to collapse into turtle shoulders, lift the heart there. And you see if you can move the chest towards the shin, okay? So don't worry if you can't, I just want you to really work on the sensation in the outer hip, in the outer right hip. Three more breaths here, and we're going to move into a twist. And then exhale, just let the two legs fall to the left, landing the right foot on the floor, and come and sit a little bit more upright. And at this point, your right sit bone is probably going to float up off the floor, so just jam something in underneath there to support yourself, okay? Sole of the left foot should be facing behind, and the sole of the right foot should be pressing onto the floor there, okay? Sit up nice and tall, and the same option applies. If you're seated, seated higher up, you may need something under your hand behind you. Okay, so to get into the twist, you've got the option of taking the easy version, hooking the elbow in front and turning towards the right, or you can take the same type of twist as we had at the beginning. Okay, so bring the arm across to the outside of that right thigh and turn towards the back of the room. Let the heart be light, let your face be soft. And just feel the right side of your belly being pulled around to the back. And if you ate a fair sized meal before you came to class, just be mindful of that and be gentle on your belly. And notice if your right shoulder is rising up. Just let the shoulder drop away from the ear. Five more breaths here, please. And then exhaling, just releasing out of that twist. Does not feel really good. <sighs> okay, so this changing to the second side for thread the needle. Now, you can take the left ankle above the right knee, and again, um, modify as you need. So wherever you're tight, you just adjust. Okay, and then take that left knee away. Keep the heart nice and light, nice and tall, and lift the, the ears away from the shoulders, bringing the chest forward towards the shin. It might like look something just like this, and that's also fine, okay?
And just noticing that sensation there in your outer left hip. Breathe into it and exhaling, just release. Five more breaths. Last one, exhale it out. And at the end of the breath, just walk your right foot across and let the two, the two legs come and rest. Okay, so the left sole of the left foot's now flat on the floor and the sole of the right foot is now pointing out behind you and your left sit bone is probably up off the floor. So just pop something under there, okay? And then let's move into that twist. So tip, take an inhale, lift the heart, taking either the easy modification, twisting around to the back, or maybe going slightly deeper. Lift the heart, and then exhale, turning towards the back of the room. Five more rounds of breath. And then exhaling. Slowly twisting back around to the front well done. Okay. <sighs> Release those legs. <clears throat> so from here, I thought we'd take caterpillar, which is a forward fold with the legs extended out in front. And we're going to have to adjust this to how your body feels tonight. So it's a great idea to have something under your bum just give you that small lift and again anyone who's tight hamstrings go ahead and pop something underneath there i'm going to pop my rolled up blanket under there okay and then have your pillow handy too but before you put your pillow on let's just make sure we have a proper seat so just pull the flesh out behind you so that you've got a slight inner internal rotation of the legs one at a time and you feel much more grounded when you when you do that. You can feel your sit bones on whatever you're seated on, and you, your body just feels more comfortable here. And the legs are just, just a couple of inches apart when you do that. Okay. And then from here, let's take the fold. And this is going to look differently for everybody. So if you're a little bit tighter, the fold might look a little bit like this. Okay. Or you could take this out across the front of your legs and just fold over it. Okay, and if you're super flexible, go ahead and take it a nice deep fold, perhaps with a block, and just hang it there. No strain. And then soften. And come back to 
that breath again. You can also take that mudra if you enjoyed that. Thumb to middle finger to ring finger, okay? Okay, let's just take five more rounds of breath here. And then exhaling, just walk your hands back in towards you, press them into the floor, and gently bring yourselves up to a seat. And you should be feeling quite sedated at this point. You should be, you might be feeling quite sedated at this point. Okay. So bend those knees nice and easy. We've only got a few minutes left. So I thought we could take a nice supported butterfly to finish. Okay, so take that pillow that you have or your bolster and pop it behind you so that it comes right up to your back, to your sacrum area. And, you know, if you want to come up a little bit further upright, you can support it under the, the top end with a little block. Okay, and then take the soles of the feet together and knees wide. Okay, and you can also support under those legs too. If they, if they rise up and you need some support underneath them, okay? And then you're just, just gently going to lie yourself back onto your pillow. Maybe covering your eyes. And let the shoulders get heavy. Let the leg bones be heavy too. And come back to your breath. Good. And focus for the last few moments here on the breath. Good. As if you were sitting on a perch. and trying to stay on that perch with the breath. And as thoughts come into your mind, 
Perhaps you'll be distracted by them and fall off your perch. And that's okay. Perfectly natural. But just gently bring yourself back to seat yourself down again on the perch. And begin again. Perfectly relaxed, perfectly calm. Just watching the body breathing itself. And then you can extend those legs back down on the floor in front of you and take a supported fish. This is called supported fish. Um, or you can come all the way back down onto your back, whatever you prefer. And if you are coming down onto your back, pop your pillow underneath your knees. I hope you're feeling as relaxed as I am because I usually don't do the practice and I, I really enjoyed that. <laughs> so, namaste. Thank you for joining me for this practice. I hope to come back on Wednesday at 7 p.m. as we would normally do and I'll send an email this week. Okay, so if, um, if you'd like to join, and um, you can go ahead and let me know. And um, so just lying back on your back and just let your skin drape across your body like your most favorite comfy blanket and take rest.